Good day, grade 12s. Welcome to today's video where we are now going to look at um, Excel in our June practical prep. Let's go and look, first of all, um, let's go back and let's go into the IB. Let's look at 2023. And let's just get that paper again. And we're going to look at Excel. Let's see what was done there. Right. So that was question three. Question two was word. Okay, let me get there. No, question four. Okay, sorry about that. Right, so our spreadsheets. Let's see what they've asked us to do in 2023 and then in 2024, and that'll give us a good idea of what to expect in 2025. Right. So you can see we have to rename tabs and change the tab color. We had to work out the number of couples in cell C27. So we work in a particular sheet. We format in a header row as well. And there you can see for six marks, they wanted us to change the direction, display the cells correctly or the text in the cells correctly, use thick borders, a full color. So all of those. Then they wanted us to work in the meal sheet here and they want us to use a few formulas. I'll go through the formulas. Conditional formatting. Um, those are functions, functions. And then formatting a chart. And then they tell you your chart should look like the example when you are done with it. And that is for five marks. They also wanted you to create a pivot table and a pivot chart. Okay. So we see that. That's our 46 marks. That is 2023. Now I do just also want to let me just move this out of the way. Um, I do just want to go to the memo of that because I'd like us also to see what formulas they looked at in 2023. Okay, so let's just have a look here at what they wanted. Question four. Here we go. So question four, VLOOKUP, count A, VLOOKUP, large and small, an if statement, a nested if as well, count if, so those are the ones that came up in 2023. Now, let's go over to 2024. And let's see what they asked us to do in 2024. Let's go all the way down here. Probably question three or four again. There we go. Question four. And I do also want to just get... I'm marking grid out so that we have that available. Okay. Now, let's look at question four, and you can see what they are asking you to do. Name and surname in the footer. Then apply the following changes to the range of cells. I want you to underline it, change it to font bold, change the font to bold, change the row height, align the text, Sort the data by one, then the other. Okay, so sort it ascending order uh, by author one and then by title. Formatting cells to currency, conditional formatting, change the orientation of the page, add borders. Do we see things that we saw in 2023? Yes, we do. Insert a new column, add a heading to the column. Okay, that's formulas. Create an ID code. And in fact, let me just go back to 4.9. Now, 4.9, they wanted us to change the format of that because they want us to display the month in full. So that's going to be four M's. Then create an ID code based on this, the last two letters. So this would have been 
a concatenate. And what, remember we, when we use concatenate, we bring in things together, right? What are we bringing together? The last two letters of the surname. So we're going to go equals right for that. The length of the surname, which is equals len. Uh, the first letter of the gender, taking it from the left. So equals left, and then everything must be in uppercase. So that's one, two, three, four. Then there was a use of an X lookup. Uh, this one was a count if that they wanted us to use, and a min. And then there was another count if. And then again, your pivot table and chart. And that was it. Okay. So, IB learners, I hope this is showing you now what to expect when it comes to your 2025 June exam. You've seen some of the things that are now in Excel um, and what could possibly come up. So I hope that helps you to prepare. DBE learners, let's see what they've done. So we've got 2023 and 2024, and we're looking at Excel. So it's Word, here we go, Excel. Delete sheets, set the print area. Um, alternate text, so adding alternative text to an image. Um, there's another function there, another function there. They want us to generate an entry number by doing what? A number between 1 and 50, followed by the first two letters of the athlete's name. So we're going to concatenate with other formulas inside, which is what we even saw in the IB, right? A VLOOKUP, copying it down now, please, when you do this, don't forget to do the absolute cell reference. Okay, then we continue. Um, they want us to do what? They want us to change these range of cells to display as the picture indicates. Another function. Another function. A nested if. I mean, look at that. Seven marks for the nested if. Yo. Okay. Uh, and function. Okay, normal one with just calculating a discount. Um, yeah, so quite a few formulas and then a chart as well. So yeah, you can see now this is your bar chart and they're giving you all the relevant info and they're telling you what they want the final result to look like. Okay, so that is what was in Excel for 2024. Let's go and have a look at 2023. So in the 2024 paper, with the memo here, let's just have a look at what we doing in Excel or what they wanted you to do in Excel. So here we go. Um, changing the tab color, page setup, some ifs, conditional formatting, some more functions. I'll get to that now. Let's see what functions they wanted there. Just see. Okay, so it was some ifs that you needed to know how to do conditional formatting. Um, your sum. Let's see what other functions. Count if mode, concatenate. There's the concatenate round up. Um, if and day, so those are all the different functions they wanted in there, and then a chart as well, modifying that chart for four marks, and yeah, that was really it um, in terms of what they wanted from you for Excel. Oh, oh, let's let's go further. Let's go further. Sorry. Then they wanted you to move a worksheet, more functions. I think I did. Yeah, I did look at that. And some data validation there as well. Okay. And that's it, grade 12s. I mean, that's what the DBE learners have seen in the last two years. It's what the IEB learners have seen in the last two years. And that should give you a good idea of the what to expect in terms of what we've seen now and the trends that we've seen for your 2025 June if you've got any questions on Excel, 
please leave those in the comments of this video so that I can respond to them. All the best, and I'll see you in our last one. We will be looking at database.